What is up guys, Aaron Wax here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I wanna talk about something that's been going on in the Phantom Forces community for quite a while now. And, I, and that is, is Phantom Forces dying on Roblox? And my personal answer to that is, well, no, not really. But is it a game that is losing popularity in the past few months? To that, I would probably say yes. So what do I mean? But first, some context about myself. I joined Roblox back in August of 2017, so I'm still fairly new to Roblox, and to be honest, I don't really play much other Roblox games. But I have been playing Phantom Forces a lot in the past couple of years. And to show you that, I, right now I'm currently ranked 103, which kind of shows how much hours I've put into the game in the past couple of years, which to be fair is pretty impressive. So I feel like I have a good enough knowledge and experience when it comes to playing Phantom Forces. So, what do I mean when I say Phantom Force isn't dying? Well, first off, the game itself still has a large, big player base. And from what I've seen, it still managed to get around 5,000 or 6,000-ish players every day. And there's still a dedicated and active group of people who still play and enjoy Phantom Forces, including myself. It still is, and one of the best high-quality first-person shooters on Roblox out there. And in a way, Phantom Forces is basically kind of like the Call of Duty of Roblox. Many people have heard of it, and many people still play it. However, like Call of Duty, its popularity has done a as time went on. Now, I'll be honest, I've never played Call of Duty, so I'm not a complete expert, but one thing I do know is that Call of Duty was really popular back in the Modern Warfare and Black Ops days, where many people would play nothing but COD and upload hours of content on YouTube. But nowadays, Call of Duty isn't that big anymore. Sure, there are a lot of people who still play it and know what it is, but it isn't the same as it was back in the Modern Warfare and Black Ops days. Especially with the rise of competition on Roblox, such as Arsenal, Strucid, and Bass Business, which for that game I'll talk about in a sec second. I think the biggest problem with Phantom Forces right now is that it has a bit of an identity crisis as well as the stagnating amount of content being added. I feel like when it comes to maps, Phantom Forces can't really decide whether it wants to be like a Call of Duty game where everything is small, confined, and has a lot of corners, or like Battlefield where everything is big and broad, when in my opinion it should be neither. And like, to me, Phantom Forces is, has always been like a competitive but still very casual game to play. Anyone can pick up a mouse and keyboard and still play it, regardless if they're a beginner or an expert. Granted, there is still like a learning curve, but it's not that big. And that's what makes Phantom Forces so enjoyable. It's a, it's a fun, simple, and casual and addicting game where everyone can enjoy it. But recently, Phantom Forces has, going to be, has sort of been going into like a more of a hardcore competitive style game when it comes to the maps. Like for instance, maps such as, you know, the prison, the uh, oil rig, like they're kind of going for like this sort of like this Call of Duty style map or sometimes they, uh, they're going for like the battlefield approach like with Blizzard. Like they're going for like, they can't really, I feel like they, the developers of Stylus can't really decide if they wanted it to be more like Call of Duty or Battlefield. And I feel like it's really kind of sort of hurting the Phantom Forces identity because in reality it should be neither. Phantom Forces maps have always been grounded more into the, like, the more Call of Duty style approach where it's a bit small but it's still fairly big. But it's big but still has like those areas as well as buildings that are you know small and confined and it has that perfect balance of being you know big and broad but still has some tight spaces and corners and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with going either like a Call of Duty or Battlefield approach every once in a while it's nice to have you know, one of those styles maps. But when all you're doing is just pumping out maps that are mostly pretty uninspiring and are just clearly are just focusing on one style or you can't decide on like which two styles you want, then I feel like there is definitely a problem with that. Also has been like this another problem is the stagnant amount of content. I feel like with along with like the maps which, you know, aren't great, especially luck which in my opinion is in my opinion, one of my least favorite maps ever. Like, that map is, in my opinion, like a big mess. Like, I feel like that map, Stylus can really decide on whether or not it wants to be Call of Duty or Battlefield. But anyways, one of the other problems is the fact that is the stagnating stagnating amount of content. I feel like some of the guns they're adding aren't really you know inspiring or aren't really that special. And even like once in a while, like the A12, which I heard is really good. Like even then, it's like every once in a while. So it's not we're not like getting any big stuff. And also, they're kind of focusing too much on like the skins. I feel like, which don't get me wrong, I like, but I feel like there it's been kind of a bit bit too much of a focus lately. 
And another problem is the fact that it's really sort of like the amount of tryhards and people playing this game. Like, as I said before, Final Fantasy is a game that's casual and anyone can pick up and play, but recently with the more of like the hardcore competitive approach, there are a lot of people who really just all they won't care about is just getting nothing but kills and getting a good KDR, and not really caring about enjoying the game, which don't get me wrong, like I understand that, you know, you want to get good, you know, get more kills as well as having a good KDR, but when all you do, but when you're doing it in a way that where it's just not really about fun anymore, like it becomes really annoying. Like it's easy nowadays. It, it's become really annoying to you know get killed constantly, and as well as like just spawning like and then dying only a few seconds later. Like it's become really annoying lately, and I feel like because of that, it, Stylus hasn't really done a really good job at like trying to like make the game fun as it used to be. Now, to make one thing clear, I'm not trying to like attack Stylus or dump on them. Like I understand that they're hard. The developers are hardworking people, and it's important to understand like game development is not easy. Like it's really hard. But with that said, though, I do hope that Stylus are sort of you know listening to the players' complaints and trying to fix fixing them, especially with recently uh, with another problem being also the amount of bugs and glitches, like random teleporting or like jumping up through the air for no apparent reason or for like trying to go through a wall. Like that's been a problem as well. So there's a lot of problems that Phantom Force needs to fix, and I feel like because of that, there are a lot of player, players that are like moving out of Phantom Forces into other games like Arsenal and Strucid and Bad Business, and it's also the reason why it, there are a lot of you know Phantom Forces YouTubers who are leaving, like Synthesize OG, Petrify, like there are a lot of, you know players who used to play Phantom Forces who are now leaving because of that. I think the reason being is because you know Strucid and Arsenal and F Bad Business, you know, even though they're still new games, they're still very casual and still and they still offer something that's fresh and new to all players that is really appealing to them, and that's kind of really impressive because I think I feel like before Arsenal and Strucid, you know, the only really most other like like first-person shooters that tried to like compete against Phantom Forces like. Shell Shock, as well as Operation Scorpion, like as good as those games were, they're kind of a bit too focused on like hardcore games, like the hardcore like competitive player. Which, to be fair with like Roblox, I don't think it's really possible. Like the only exception I think I've seen so far is Counter Roblox. But aside from that, like most other first person shooter games that tried to like compete against Final Forces didn't really all do all that well. So. It's really interesting to see that, you know, Final Forces now has competition where people are now moving there. And right now, like, Arsenal is getting a lot more players now. And you, especially with Bad Business as well, like, that game, like, when I first start, started playing it, I think it only got, like, you know, a few hundred people, but now it's managed to get, like, 2,000 people, which, for, like, for, like, a new first-person shooter game, like, that's really impressive, like, not gonna lie. So, yeah, Final Forces has... Been losing a lot of popularity lately, not just because like you know the stagnating amount of content and problems, but also just the rise amount, the rising amount of competitive, you know, new games such as you know like said Arsenal and Strucid. So because of that, that's sort of why I feel like way like Final Fantasy, it's still it's still a big game, but its popularity has definitely gone down for quite a while now. Do I think Final Fantasy is going to die? Uh, I feel like it's probably going to take a long time to do that like it's still a very established game and people will still love it including myself like I still play Phantom Forces because I still find it fun but in terms of popularity it's definitely not the game as it once was and there are other options now that people are looking into and so far that's kind of where I see Phantom Forces right now kind of like Call of Duty you know it was big once but as time went on it's starting to get you know less people slowly start to get less people and it's, even though it's still big and there are other people who are interested in playing it playing other different games I mean so yeah that's how I personally view things um I think that's probably about it um I feel like if I feel like if Silas really wants to compete against the other players then I feel like they really need to do something drastic and I can kind of tell because with the new update like Phantom Force added gun game into the game as well as they're adding, you know, a couple of more maps like they're currently on the testing place right now. So I feel like if Stylus is going to compete, then they need to do something drastic and really try to, you know, 
fix, you know, listen to the community and fix a lot of the problems that they're having. So hopefully Silas listens and makes their game better. But anyways, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think Phantom Force is dying? Do you agree with me or disagree? You know, leave your thoughts in the comments. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you